Well, it's always a special day when we have the privilege of uh, dedicating little children to the Lord, and we are especially blessed today. We had kind of our own little baby boom at the church. Like, it's been, it's been great. Oh, and Bill, I'm going to tell you, Bill, like, there isn't a father alive that doesn't have a picture like that, all right? That, uh, it's just, we all got them. Our families conspire against us to do that, but that's Okay. Well, at our church, we, um, our goal is to go by what the scriptures tell us to do. So we don't, we don't uh, baptize babies at our church, but we do feel that it's appropriate uh, because Jesus modeled it to dedicate children. One of the passages that we think of when we do this is Mark chapter 10 that says, People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me. I do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And then he took the children in his arms and he placed his hands on them and he blessed them. And so clearly Jesus loved children. And, um, and we do as a church as well. Uh, I'm going to ask at this time if the parents would bring the, the children up, the babies up. I know that we have uh, family members here, grandparents, aunts and uncles, whoever, and we are so glad that you're here. But we only have room up enough here for the, for the parents and the kids, all right? So go ahead, and if you guys would make your way up here. One of the other things that the Bible says talks about how children are a blessing from God. And then it has this unusual verse that says, Blessed is the one whose quiver is full of them. Do you ever think of your children as being, as being arrows? Like sometimes you might, right? Depending on what they just did. But as a church, our quiver is full. And we are, we are truly blessed. And so we're going to uh, dedicate these children uh, right now. And um, 
I, uh, I just want you to know, I know who y'all are. I know your names. I know your kids' names. But I was so paranoid this morning that I, I wrote them down, all right? So, like, let's forgive me, all right? Uh, so here we have, this is Lillian Grace McKinstry. And uh, Michael and Sandy are her parents. And here we have, we have Ash Christian Elliott. That's an awesome, awesome middle name. Um, with Sean and Sherry. And uh, we have Braley Ann with Jordan and Sammy Joe. Hi. Like she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, Julia Rose, which I, I love that name. What a pretty name. Uh, Bill and Amanda. And uh, Gabriel Joseph James Newmeister. Two middle names. Yeah, all right. And with Dan and Brittany. And uh, we are so glad. And what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to stand with them as a church family and and pledge to do everything that we can to help them raise these children to know and love the Lord. And so as I go, I lay my hands on each child. I'm going to ask you to. You, normally, I would take them, but I can't do that. Like you, I, I can try. You want me to hold all five of them once? We can see. We can see how it works. But uh, we're not going to do that. But let's let's um let's go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, we will uh, bless and dedicate each one of these uh, children to the Lord. Father God, we are so grateful for this, for this special privilege today. And uh, we don't take it lightly as a church family uh, that you have entrusted children, uh, these children not only to their parents and their families, but also to us as a church family. That we are to help them and to encourage them to raise these children to know and love you as the first priority in their lives. And so, God, we would pray for them. Lord, we pray for Lillian Grace. Pray that you will bless her. We dedicate her to you. We pray that she will grow strong and to know you as Lord and Savior and be with her parents as they raise her to know and love you. Father, we pray for Ash Christian, Lord, that you would be with him that you would help him to grow in knowledge and wisdom and stature, that he would grow to love you. Father, be with his parents and help them as a first priority to raise, to raise him to know and to love you. We dedicate him to you. Father, we pray for Braley Ann, that you would help her, Father, to grow as well in wisdom and stature, to grow into just a fine a young lady and woman. Father, we pray for her parents that they would make it a first priority that she know and that she would love you. So God, we pray your blessing upon her as we dedicate her to you. And Father, we pray for Julia Rose, that you would bless her in her life, that you would help her to grow strong. Father God, we just pray for her parents as well, that you would help them to make her uh, understand you as Lord and Savior, that, they would, that you would be the first priority of their home, Lord, we dedicate her to you, and we lift her up to you, Father. And Father God, we pray for Gabriel Joseph James, that you would continue to help him grow strong, that he would grow to love you, God. We pray for his parents, that you would help them to raise him in a way that would put you first as a priority, Lord, that he would grow to know and to love you. We pray that you would bless him, and we dedicate him to you. And Father, we pray as a church family, as, as ones who have been entrusted with this trust of, of these children, not only these here, but all over the building, Lord, that you would help make us faithful, that you would help us to do everything possible, God, to help children know and to love you and to grow uh, in their love of you, that they would go from being children who love you to young adults who love you to adults who love you, God. Um, we don't take lightly what you've entrusted to us. And so, God, once again, as a congregation, we just pledge our support. We pledge our prayer support. We pledge our financial support. We, we pledge, Lord, that we would do everything we can. We pray for uh, the parents of these children. We pray for the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, and everybody in their family circle, Lord, that you would bless each and every one of them. And, God, just as Jesus demonstrated when he placed his hands on the children that day, Lord, we know that you, that you have your hands on these children as well, and we thank you for that. 
We just again pray your blessing upon them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's hear it for them.